Okay, so here we go. We are doing something a little bit different, which is actually recommended by this man over here, which is James Ferguson. Um, this is a college catch-up. So it's something new that we're going to try. And he uh, messaged me yesterday saying, oh, I've just done seen your complete catch-ups with your staff. Really think it would be a good idea to share the experiences of some of the learners on programme. So I was like, Bosh, you're coming in first. Um, so James Ferguson, current college uh, skipper and first choice goalkeeper. Just about. <laughs> yeah. Um, to uh, the other goalkeeper's delights, but how we're going to do this is we're basically going to look at his journey because James is on his third and final year with us. So we're going to be looking at four different areas, pre-complete. Then we're going to go for year one, year two, year three, and then obviously what's next. It's um, it's been a bit of a journey for him. Mm. So, um, are you nervous? You see, he's normally behind camera quite a bit anyway. Obviously, big time, big farm, time farm, farm yeah. and that. So, <laughs> right for that. Uh, he's normally used to all of these interviews and stuff mm. like that. So I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Mm. Um, so I'm going to fire a few questions. I've tried to do a little bit of brainstorming, um, but I couldn't really remember certain dates and certain time periods. But Let's go personally. How long have I known you for? Eight? Nine? I think, yeah, I mean, I've. what I'll do is I'll throw, you I'll throw a couple well. of photos in on this no, as well. No, 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 Just no, put no, them up no, on no, the screen. Let's not, mate. Let's not, mate. Let's not do that. Because I went through them in the, our WhatsApp <laughs> chat and I looked at them and they were horrible. Let's not. <laughs> so probably about eight, yeah. So I think... Obviously, it was first as a goalkeeper, mm. um, and you used to come to like our half-term holiday camps, Ash Manor. I don't know if you ever come to the Winston Churchill one, actually. I came to another one. I don't know where it was. There and was I'm pretty one. sure you used to come to Hawley. Hawley, that's yeah. the one. Because uh, Aaron used to come over to that yeah. one as well. Mm. Um, so yeah, started off doing, obviously doing like weekly goalkeeping training. You were like playing as Farnham as a young lad. Yeah. Um, and where else did you play? Well, the team started off at Badshot Lee, yeah, and then we got, well, I don't know the word, because we didn't get scouted yeah. by Reading. Like, we got took to be a team as Reading yeah. in a normal league, grassroots league. Like, probably like a, a talent ID or development. Like a foundation yeah, yeah, side yeah. Yeah. sort of thing with Reading, and then we made the trip over to Farnham. Yeah. And that's where we were. Because you had a pretty good squad, didn't you? I remember. Yeah, very good. Um, very good squad. Yeah, they were they were decent. But and then obviously you got older, um, mm. a lot older, and you started training. I think I think it was like fifteen, six. Well, actually, no, we were doing college trials, and you were an under fifteen. I was and, in year ten. And you were in year coming. ten. You started coming into like the college trials and stuff, and even the college lads at the time were like, "He's going to be decent," and mm. you were playing out on field. Mm. Um, because we were doing some like training camps over at Ash Manor and stuff. And then it got round to um, when you were under 16, you started training with us at Samuel Cody on a Friday night. Mm. You, Freddie, and then there was quite a few of the uh, year just below, which I remember having conversations because I just started an under 13 squad. Yeah. And you were like, oh, I wish you would have started a team up like for our age group. But obviously now we've got age groups set up for um, pretty much all, all through. Mm. So um, yeah, you were training with us on a... Uh, on a Friday and then you made the decision to obviously join the college programme. Mm -hmm. Did you have any other options at the time or? Nah, not no, not really. I was always going to come here. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to play football and come to this college. So mm -hmm. it was since year 10, I was like, I'm definitely going there. So then it started around, uh, then it started. So, I mean, I think you've always got quite a few highlights of the first year. You're quite a good group to be fair. Mm. Um, big good shout team. out to Train Travis and... Up the train, Jarvis. Riley, Birch, Toby. all the boys, Toby, Freddie, Freddie <laughs> um, always used to travel up together on the train. But that first year, so we started in September, that first year, we obviously done the first term, mm. got round to the second term, and I think it was March when obviously the COVID lockdown, stuff hit. Just before my, after my birthday. Yeah, and the lockdown came in, um, which we were fortunate enough to continue certain training sessions, but we had mm. to move the classroom sessions yeah, so over to nights, nights um, which was, I suppose, if you remember, that was a bit of a pain because it we was. 
we used to do the sessions there. I mean, I was bus driver, wasn't yeah, I? Yeah, you was back so and forth constantly. Picking up year, a one-year group, bringing them back, going to get the next one, just constantly back and forth. And then you were waiting around quite a lot. Yeah, we we would have, we would have been first in lesson at nine o'clock mm. and then waiting about three hours until training yeah. in, at the lodge. It was mm. horrible. Went but great. I suppose, like, we... I suppose it's good, really, because you didn't really take training for granted because it got taken away from us for the COVID yeah. stuff that you actually, every time everyone was in, it was quite buzzing. Good, yeah. um, and we done quite well, didn't we, in the in the first season mm. um, because the boys the year before previously won the league, didn't they? Yeah. So it was the year before that that they won it. Um, so it started a little bit, you know, we were, I mean, we were very reduced to what we could potentially do, like training-wise. Mm. But um, you were training as an outfielder. And then I think the highlight of that year was the photo from, what was it? The photo. You know, the photo where you were like, shorts were a little bit higher, leg was like oh, ripped um, up. Uh, PDA Dorset. PDA Dorset, yeah. yeah. Captain's armband on the arm. Very Some athlete. Very slim. Slim. Good fitness levels, good. Was fit, yeah. yeah. Very fit. When we used to do box runs or anything like that. We need to get back into that. Yeah. Big time. You were up there, top of the... You ain't top no more. It was me and no Toby. More. Me and Toby were always no more, up there. Though. Huh? You ain't top no more. Well, no chance. <laughs> <laughs> but you were actually like centre midfield wise. So you joined us in that first year as a centre midfielder. Mm. Um, and I don't even know when the transition was to go back in goal. I think... Oh, no, obviously, second year. I remember now, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. So, I'm, so you were outfield and I think what you were good at is obviously ranger passing. You love to smash people in challenges. Um, to the point where it was a little bit worrying. Mm. Um, so after that first year, so towards the back end of the first year when we start, when I was at Frimley first team coaching, it was the summer before summer, the second year, summer before second year, mm. we took you into uh, the first team to start training, mm. um, and you were still at Farnham 18s, I think. Yeah, I was with Farnham 18s that year. Yeah. Farnham 18s playing in goal, Skip and then off. obviously yeah, skipper for that. And then playing out of outfield for college, but then you started yeah. training the first team with us. Mm. And then, first pre-season game, first was pre-se- it? First pre-season game. Cobham away. The Cobham, not at it Cobham. Was the, it was that Bagshot, wasn't it? Yeah, Bagshot yeah. team, but it was like over, Chob- sorry, Chobham, Chobham away. Yeah. On that grass pitch, and I remember it like it was... I was having a world of a game, by the way. You were, you were playing well, <laughs> and I think you were meant to come off at half-time. Yeah, I was. Me and Toby were meant to come off. You ended up staying on and your mum was there as well. Mm. And then, I don't know what it was, the balls just come sort of middle of two. Mm. We've both We've gone just in. just come together. You've gone down screaming. Mm. Um, and then I've rushed over. And I always remember now, like, I look down. I laugh about you every uh, time about this. <laughs> I was just like, no, it looks, looks all right. right, mate. <laughs> but, like, the we'll front, the, I'll give you the photo of it yeah, if you want to show it. The front of the... It was like the shit, it just went straight down. Then mm. it just like went to the side like this. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> like, no, 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 you're all right, mate. It's fine. You're yeah. looking down like red face, like I think just adrenaline in shock. Um, mm. And then your mum sort of like, she didn't come rushing over. No, she was like, she it'll just be fine. so cash. It'll be all right. <laughs> walking over it. And, and I was just like, I turned around and I was like, <laughs> he's done. Like it's, it's, it's bad. But she was so calm the whole time. I remember yeah. it. She was just like, no, nah, it's all right. Give like, us paracetamol. <laughs> It'll be all right. And, I'm just, and then we waited for it must have been. Two hours? Yeah. It must have been. Oh, Freezing sorry. cold on the ground. Yeah. Cold. It was in the summer, but you were just like shaking. We were putting layers on you. And yeah. we, we, I was speaking to the paramedics in the ambulance and I was just like, you need to hurry up and get down here. And eventually you went over there. And yeah, yeah I mean, the photos show that it was a, where did you break it? Was it on the? It was my tibia. Tibia. Like, low, like. If you go like a third up the bone. Yeah. There. So that's obviously not the greatest start to the, the potential season that was ahead. Because I wonder if that never happened, what you'd be I doing. Wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been back in goal, I think. Yeah. I would have stayed upfield with Frimley. Yeah. So I was flying. Yeah, you so. were. Yeah, you would do it. And yeah, it's just crazy. Like one thing like that. And then I think obviously from that, obviously you your head would probably start spinning like, what am I going to do? I'm never going to be able to play again. Mm. You know, you know, probably in a, your brain was probably scrambling around thinking, what, you know, what, what is, what am I going to do? So, mm. um, it was probably one of the quickest recoveries I think I've ever seen. 
Yeah, I did come back a bit early. I'll yeah, be you, you did, yeah. And I, I, mean, just wanted, I just missed it so much. I, yeah. just, I just had to kick a ball and be training. But you think from the time it happened, I remember saying to people, it was like five months later, you were like... I think a bit less than that. Yeah, you were like out there sort of jogging. I'm thinking from a break. So you got a, uh, what was it, a rod put in your leg? Metal rod, yeah, we screwed in. Metal rod into the leg and then five... Literally, I think they I They gave me saying. the choice whether I wanted to go for a cast or a metal rod yeah. because the recovery said the metal rod would be a lot less and it will be a come back a lot stronger because if Take you had the cast then. it will be yeah. still a bit fragile Yeah. so I was like oh, I'm taking the operation mm. so yeah I mean you come back and you start training and at that time you left we, you left Farnham didn't you because you come and signed 18s, for 18s yeah I signed for Frimley yeah. signed for Frimley 18s, 18s yeah. and I think it was it the first game back or the second game back at Bagley Lee no my first game back was Ascot came off the bench yeah, at Ascot smashed someone straight away. About yeah, two minutes in, felt fine. Yeah, so I was like, I'm fine, I'm back. Yeah. Baggy Lee happened two minutes into the game. I yeah. smashed someone else. Yeah, pain. A pain, and you were just like, it's happened, it's happened again. And I was like, I was thinking this is a different reaction to what it was yeah. last time. But I was it, just like, no, yeah. surely not. Um, bad. But yeah, and then after that, I think that must have been the time where you were thinking, right, I'm going to go back in goal. So was this in, this was in year two, wasn't it? Well, no, at college, my first game back was Eastley at home and we beat them 5-3 outfield. That was my first 90 minutes. Yeah. And I felt fine. But I don't know, I can't actually remember when I switched back. Yeah. I remember having that conversation and I think it was... Was it when? Because, oh no, I went back in golf for Frimley 18s, didn't I? I played in golf for Frimley 18s for a bit. Yes, you did, yeah. Yeah. So I think it was then, because I think Sam was away for one game and someone needed to go and golf, so I was like, I'll go and golf. Obviously, and then it went from there, and I stayed in goal. Stayed in goal, and then obviously, what at the time I think was Chris still down there for Frimley, first team in goal, and then you and I think uh, it was the Browner FA and, and game. yeah, oh yeah, that was it. That the was FA the debut, Vars, wasn't it? Yeah, the debut. Yeah. So where were we? We went to um, um, Stansted. No, not Stansted. Stansfield. I you, can't remember the name of them. Yeah, you they, went they, down they, there. They pit. They get. They pitch there with Gleb. That's it. Yeah. 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 Went down there and yeah, you had a quite a good game to be fair. Mm. And then we what did you lose one nil? No, it was fr- three two. I think. Is it three two three one? No, two two one. I think it was two one because I remember the second goal I slipped. I can't remember. I'm also yeah. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, slip there's a photo of me on one knee getting yeah. up. Yeah. Never yeah no. Out. And then I think from there, obviously everyone was just like, hold a minute, he's quite a good goalie, and I was like, well, yeah, traditionally he is a goalie. Mm. And then um, remained in goal for the rest of the season. And then obviously, so that was the end of year two. So, end of year two. Well, no, in the middle of year two, I went back to the final, didn't I? For the 18s, yeah. For but you 18s. still played at the for the first team for Frimley, didn't you? Yeah, I was playing Frimley first team out in goal, and then I went back to final 18s in because goal. Because I remember they needed, it they was the keeper. Yeah, because they were. Uh, who was it? Reedy was the manager for Farnham. Yeah, he wanted me to come play right back. Yeah, and then he. I remember you. We played against Farnham first team. And he didn't even know that you were like the okay. 18s, like keeper, keeper, yeah, mm. which was mental. Um, and then after that, obviously coming back, you've had obviously a very traumatic, tragic incident in the car crash, mm. which I know it's been obviously a tough thing for a lot of people because a lot of you well, we obviously lost two people within that, two of them that played at uh, Frimley with us. Mm. Um, which was very, very tough. Um, and obviously you were involved in that accident and in that mm. crash that happened. Um, I mean, sort of, what's that sort of, I suppose it's never really digested for anyone, no, but what's it still that? still hasn't for me. Yeah. It's, I, I still don't have words for it. Like, yeah. it's, it, it rarely happens that much. You think, oh, it's never going to happen to mm. us. It's never mm. going to happen. But then it did. And then, yeah, big, my mind just blew yeah, when I woke yeah. up. It was crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously like, it's still quite a, it's quite raw to be honest, to, mm. to talk about it. And obviously went through the process of going to two funerals and, you know, the lads that were involved in the crash and stuff like, and all the friends around it. I mean, as a club, to be fair, like Frimley, I thought done very, very well with sort of, I mean, it was literally on the Sunday. Mm. So it happened like early hours of Saturday morning on the Sunday. Like we got all the lads together, got them down um, obviously, you were in hospital. Um, quite a few of them were in hospital. Yeah, I think um, it was uh, just me, 
Finn and Luke yeah left in hospital for like two or three days yeah and then we yeah. saw I mean like I saw a couple of them on the next day and they were all bruised up and it was yeah it was just uh, yeah because I remember when we got out we went to that uh, memorial game yeah the Frimley yeah again I don't know who they played but in, we... the, in the rain wasn't it I remember yeah because I yeah. had to do a little speech, a speech at, at, the the start. at the start and the stupid sound system yeah the mic wasn't working was, yeah um but yeah, that was obviously that was obviously tough, and I mean, yeah, it's it's you think going from like start of well end of year one, start of year two, going from a leg break to then in the was it the October that the crash happened? September twenty eighth. Oh, yeah, so end of September, beginning of October, the crash has happened, and then obviously your brain's thinking, I've just I'm slowly coming back because when you stood in the boot in the my I was in the back seat. Well, yeah, we didn't know. I mean, in the boot in your leg on your leg did you have a boot on your leg oh yeah well, no that was mm, no nothing happened I, I remember leg. saying to I remember saying like no, when nothing, we found out that you were fine I was like Shh. yeah luckily nothing happened to my leg yeah nothing happened to the leg so it was just the eye and then the yeah spleen yeah so what you you got the eye cut there yeah and then what was it inside? I had internal bleeding somewhere but yeah, that got yeah. stopped like straight away so there was nothing to worry about yeah mental and then the brain accident the yeah. brain bleeds but that was about it yeah I mean, I remember, like, obviously everyone at college was just, like, in massive shock. Like, you know, we all got them in and we were just sort of explaining. Obviously, your closest friends, like Fred and all of that, were just... You see how much it was, like, affecting them, not knowing how you were and mm. stuff like that. Um, yeah, it was just a, it was just a crazy, crazy time, to mm. be fair. Um, and then, what was it? We had two weeks of not, not playing any games at Frimley 18s and then we had to get back into it. And then the first game back, I think we were, like playing over at Alton or something and it was just mm. just mental um, and that was all in the space of like a year really you're thinking leg break mm. the crash and just then just over a year yeah so you you got to think like like psychologically you must have been absolutely insane like mm. you've taken the the leg situation this has happened for the crash and I'm thinking surely like this lad has got to be like thinking what else do you know what I mean mm. um, so sort of what was your motivation to sort of keep going on because I mean with both of these stumbling blocks what were you sort of thinking for yourself I just thought like me and the boys spoke about it like after the crash like well me and Finn especially were like mm. we were just thinking like we've got to try and move on and just push push on to what we can want mm. to do and just do it for them yeah really like everything we're achieving now is for them yeah 100% so yeah that was always the motivation for us mm. yeah it's um and I mean, to be fair, that I see the, I see Finn, and I see Ethan and the lads all the time now, and it's just like sometimes for me, I just it, it's strange because it's sort of sometimes the first thing that you think about mm. when you see them, um, but like they, you know, you like to think that they're dealing from what they're doing now, they're still playing as well, mm. um, because it's probably one of the best. And I, I spoke to your mum about this after after the crash and stuff. I was like, listen, we're gonna try and get him back into it, like. Mm. Because it's one of you know sport is one of the best things you can actually yeah. use and and football when you've got a passion is something that you can you can use and I think if we if you fast forward to where you are now and you look back and I'm just thinking how has all that happened mm. and then you know you're at the situation where you're at now, um, so then the, after that obviously <laughs> it was back to training, mm. um, getting yourself fit and going into your sort of third year. Um, Obviously, you departed from Lee. Eight years. Eight and. Oh yeah, no, eight years was first. But eight years was first. Season, yeah. I left the first well, I mean, I, I could, I was happy enough to listen. You are your Farnham under eighteen team we were looking to go and win league, league title. Yeah. You were like, they need a goalkeeper. Goalkeepers out. I was like, you know, go. You mm. know, if it's. Uh, I was actually quite else. surprised by that. Huh? I was quite surprised by that. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I would love to have kept you, but yeah. I mean, I could. You, you've got this sort of close connection with Farnham from a young kid, mm. and they're short of a goalkeeper. They're going out to win a win a league title. Everyone was obviously giving you loads of stick for yeah. it, but Freddie was the worst. Yeah, giving you a lot of stick about it, yeah. but it's you know it's it's something that you needed to do. So you went away to Farnham, still playing first team, and then obviously. End of the season, mm. you know, a lot of people, managers at the time were saying, oh, Fergie, yeah, yeah, he can be our number one next year. And I was like, mm, I don't know if he's going to come back to do that. And mm. then, obviously, you went over and you joined Farnham, mm. which, obviously, as you've seen online with Farnham, everything at the moment, like, they're 
I mean, they're blowing it up, aren't they, really? It's like, crazy how big it's got. It's nuts, mate. Yeah. Like, you're thinking this is step, step, step five. five football. And Shirts sold all over the world, everything like that. It's yeah. crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I am watch it. Like, I love the YouTube love stuff it. that they do. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, sort of behind the scenes and the deals that they've got with, like, the, the, the Prime coming in and side the Sidemen yeah. and stuff like that. It's just, oh, it's just mental. Um, we st- thought, oh, I thought I'd just click pause then. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's just mental, the Farnham stuff. So, mm. so obviously, you didn't go back to... You left Frimley, went to Farnham. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you well, we sort of knew that your main ambition was to sort of eventually go out to the US. Yeah. Um, and getting, obviously, a lot of footage and stuff of college and using the Farnham stuff. Um, what's the season been like so far at Farnham this year, then? Ups and downs. Mm. Like... It's just difficult because at the start of the season, we thought this is the set team, but yeah. this is what's going to do well. Mm-hmm. But then things happened, people left, managers left. Yeah, new gaffers come in. I really like him. Mm-hmm. Him and Jimmy are doing. John and Jimmy are doing really well at the moment. We're yeah. on a really good run. Mm-hmm. But then obviously I went away for one week. Stinker. I went away for one week. Absolute stinker. <laughs> Which is the only. Where'd game. you go, mate? Away. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Weymouth. <laughs> I went to Weymouth. Yeah, go on. With some friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. And family. Yeah, yeah. And my missus. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, first game I missed all year for Farnham. And then, obviously, they had to get someone else in. Obviously, mm-hmm. that's the way it is. Yeah. Liam's come in, done very well. Mm-hmm. Like he's, he's been class, mm-hmm. especially after the game at Jersey the other week. He's been yeah. unstoppable. So, yeah, it's been hard to get back in. But yeah. Gosh. But you got your opportunity. This Saturday. This tomorrow. Saturday. Um, yeah, because he's away for a few games, so that would be good. You've got to try and um, see if you can get your get your shirt back. Yeah. Um, and like I said, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great environment to be around, especially with everything that's going on at the club. They're doing some really good stuff over there. Mm. And um, yeah, and then obviously next steps, uh, going out to the US. Mm-hmm. What are you thinking? What are you thinking about that? Looking forward to it? I'm loving it. I yeah. can't wait to get out of there. Can't mm. wait for it to be August, but yeah. um, committed to a place now. Just getting the final like paperwork yeah. and bits done mm-hmm. to Kansas Pratt Community College. Mm-hmm. Won the regionals last year. I've seen so yeah. looks like a strong team. I think you'll do well out there. I think like it's. I always say to people that are interested in it, it's like you go to university over here or you go to university over yeah. there. You go to university here, like the setup football. for football is nah, just yeah, it's just toilet. Mm. Like the the players are basically running their own sessions. Yeah. The, there's no real structure to the leagues and stuff like that. Mm. But you go out there, like everything and the the people that that we've sent out there before, like the the memories, the experience, the development that they're getting is like second mm. to none. So I think it will suit you massively. And I personally know some goalkeepers um, that have been out there and got to a top level out there mm. and. Um, that's playing and also I know a goalkeeper that's doing quite well coaching out there as well mm. um, but I think that would definitely I think that's definitely a great pathway for you and then you think you gain all of that you come back here it's almost like people are going to be snatching at you um, because at the end of the day you want to try and see how far you can push yourself football wise see yeah. if you can pursue a career in it um, and this is a good platform for you so um, I think right so we've sort of gone through your process I mean now mm. Looking at the looking at our program itself, so obviously each year's been different. Yeah. Um, what I love about this is like you're into your third year, you're skipper of the team this year. We're hopefully looking to win the league this mm-hmm. year. Um, I think there's a massive part of that which is, you know, down to you. And we laugh and joke. I'm thinking it's going to be quite hard to replace yourself when mm-hmm. we're looking for a goalkeeper um, to sort of step into into your shoes really or your boots um so all three years sort of summarize what you would say your experience has been like from from the first year all the way through to when you're going to be leaving oh i feel like every year has been different Mm -hmm. like first year i think we had the potential to win the league like we had a very strong team yeah we had a lot of third years very good players and Mm -hmm. there was a lot of competition but then as the year went on players start to drop off yeah part ways with the college so yeah left us in a bit of a struggle spot mm-hmm. but um second year fresh year new lads come in mm. obviously rowan freddie marshall and all that they've done very well yeah 
and especially well, especially Freddie Lover is now yeah, playing the first team yeah. for Frimley. Yeah, definitely. Constantly at six seventeen, eight well, he's eighteen now. Yeah, eighteen now, yeah. But um, yeah, that second year was a good year, but I think it was more of a settling year for this year. Hundred percent, yeah. Because we knew the talent coming up this year. Mm-hmm. Obviously your Hillsies, your Nanas, mm-hmm. Tom Quicks, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Lewis Paul as well, he's been excellent. Yeah. But um yeah, that was just a building block for second mm. year and then this year. I, I, I would so, I would say like the the whole process like we've had like because we do our past v present game and some of yeah. the lads that have been on program before come back in and I'm thinking like they were some very good players so mm. we sort of had we have sometimes where we have these like you say building years then a really good year yeah. and then like a, a building year and then a really good year and you know we've got some good lads that are looking to join the program next year which we're excited about but we do lose some really influential players this year. Mm. Um, and I don't know, this is sort of like, I don't think winning this league this year is going to be easy, no. but it's sort of like, this is a great squad. It's a great opportunity to do you know what do I mean? it. With a great squad of yeah. players that Especially I think... Especially with the position we're in. Yeah, 100%. And I mean, you look at some of them, like, I just feel like they're all mountains. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? We've got some big lads. Mm. Like, you look at like yourself and like Ro and Freddie, like really? we're turning up to competitions and like... Even going to like when we first went to the VAR competition, then going back to it now, previously... Um, we were a lot better on the second time. Yeah, 100%. And it's like you go back now and I'm thinking that like these are men mm. now. Um, so, yeah, I think this is this has been a great year. I'm looking forward to, to be honest with you, I'm looking forward to next year, the mm. year after that when we've got our sort of 50, or quite a few of our 15 slash 16s. I think that'll be up. one of your best years. Yeah, I think... Not, this, not next year, the year after when like, our oh, year one's now in year three. Yeah, that'll yeah, That'll be yeah. a strong team. That'll be, yeah, very strong. Um, but each year's, you know, each year's great. And mm. I mean, you had a bit of a blip in in the second year of everything that, that happened. Yeah. Um, but I think you'll be thoroughly missed sort of sort of behind it. And obviously your experiences coaches wise, like you've had Rufus, you've had Rich. me, you've had Rich, and then obviously Lee coming in, um, which is great to obviously experience different heads. I mean, mm. um, you know, everyone loved sort Everyone's of Everyone's very different. Yeah, everyone loved Ruth because of his like winning mentality that he had to it and like the discipline like Rich would have within the programme. That's what I liked. I yeah. liked his discipline. He didn't take yeah, any didn't crap. Yeah, take anything, yeah. yeah. Um, which was great and then obviously Lee's come into the fold a little bit more this year mm. um, so yeah I mean sort of date what, what sort of if you didn't come to this college programme what would you what would you think you would have been doing instead because oh, um, I know what was it when was it was it in the second year you were sort of you pulled me aside and you thought, I was going to work yeah, yeah you're going I think we were going into work or plumbing or something uh, like plaster room yeah plaster room that was it yeah we had a long chat and I, and I spoke to your, to your mum as well. Because it was midway through the second year. He was like, stick it out until this the second year. When everything happened. And get, exactly. So I was like, I'm not playing football, so what's the point? Yeah. So, yeah. But I'd finished the second year and I knew I was coming back for a third year. Yeah, which is obviously the mental strength that you would have had after everything that happened in the second year. Was yeah. Like thinking you're back for another year. And obviously I was buzzing when you were back for the third year because like I said, it's, 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 the, it's the presence around like... You like to have a laugh, you like to have a joke, um, but mm. then when it comes down to game time, you just turn into something completely different. Yeah. You know, like the standards on the pitch and your communication, something that I always used to pride myself on, like communication, giving good information to people, um, is something that's so valuable. And like a lot of our lads now, they struggle with that mm. aspect of it, trying to guide and dictate people to... I wouldn't say there's many that are good at it right no. now. No, like, I don't think so. No. I'll put Loveridge in there, mm. Hillsy at times. Yeah. And that's... I would, but that's I think, it. and, and do you know where I think that's come from as well? Because obviously you do a bit of coaching as well. Mm. Um, I always say to people, as soon as you become a coach, it changes. You see you football play. differently. You so, see it completely yeah. differently. Like the, the way that you talk, like there was certain time, there was one thing in a game that not happened long ago. You were taking a goal kick or flicking the ball out and you were like, Rowan, get ready, I'm going to put it on your head to flick over. like, and Or drop back in or something. And literally your passing was like bang straight onto him, come back mm. in. I was just like, that's a joke. Like You're just trying to you're seeing patterns and you're playing in goal. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's been a mad journey. Um, what advice would you give to somebody that's looking to try and join the programme? If one thing for me, I'd stick at it. Mm. Like, sometimes you get here, you might have a bad week, you're like, can't yeah. be bothered, I can't yeah. bother to train, can't bother to come in. Mm. Stick at it. Like, 
especially training every day, it'll, it'll improve you a lot. Yeah. Because like you see the difference in players that train every day and the players that sack off training most week, most yeah, days. Yeah. Like it's a big difference. Mm. And I'll tell you, we saw that today. Yeah, hundred percent. Like some of the standards that were out there today were sometimes really good yeah. or awful. Yeah, and it so. doesn't really matter sort of where what level you're at. Yeah, hundred percent. When you see like if you see someone that's three years like in that's trained every single day, you see an improvement. I've seen that in yeah. Josh Gordon. Yeah, exactly. Mate, yeah. when he first joined. I was a bit like, what's his joint? Yeah, yeah. What's this? Yeah. But now, I'll take him on my team yeah. all day. Yeah, 100%. I'll take a bit I of Gordon. Goals, but not in games. Not in training, games, maybe. Training, yeah. Because yeah. he poos himself. But, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you, 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 if you commit to it, like, yeah. you're going to get the benefits from it. Yeah, so 100%. 100%. And that's the frustration you can sometimes have. Like, you know, like the friends that you had at school that you saw a little bit of potential in, and then all of a sudden like, they didn't really give it 100%. That's happened so much, yeah. So many, so much. Yeah. Then they moan in 10, 20 years' time that they're just like, oh, I could have been such a player. I was like, could is such a great word, isn't it? Mm. Like, you could, have, you could have done so well just applying yourself yeah. a bit better. better. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is our first college catch-up, and it's a bit mm. of a big one, to be honest, with the amount that you've sort of covered in the, in the three years. I'd probably mm. say, from me, the other coaches, the other tutors, from past and present now, I mean, it's been a pleasure having you on programme. Um, I mean, you're going to be thoroughly missed. We're obviously going to keep in contact. I've mm. known you since you were a little boy, and I'll probably know you until you stop playing football, mm. to be honest with you. So keep us in the loop about everything. We'll mm. obviously share all the stuff that you're going to be doing out in the US. Um, and then when you get back, you can come down, train, and make a coach. Yeah. But Looking yeah. forward to it. Appreciate the chat. Um, I don't know who's, who am I going to do next. Ooh, um, you said to you that you'd be really interested in one, but yeah, um, I've, I didn't really have a big think. Actually, uh, who would be good for a, a college catch up? Oh. Actually, no, two questions. Who would be interesting? Okay, who would be funny? Right, who would be awkward? Gordo, funny, Gordo would be a funny one. Gordo could be a good one, Gordo could be a good one, yeah. Freddie has the worst interviews I've ever seen in my life. That's the awkward one. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. The man of the match interview, you get, well, I played all right, you know what I mean? scored a couple of goals. That's what he does. That's what he says every time. And who would be the interesting one? Interesting. Mm, team two. Nana, because I don't really know him properly. Yeah. I think he'll come out of his shell a bit. Do you know what? He's come out of his shell massively yeah, he has. since he's, he's joined. Yeah. But um, I remember, I'll tell you what, we done the sports coaching unit and they had to deliver a session. When he done the session, mate? Apparently as well, Lee. Unreal. Yeah. And he oh, was wanting like, to... Hello, 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 guys, I'm Nana. <laughs> uh, come in, check to all the area, everything's like, oh, like, Who are you? <laughs> yeah. He was like, we're going to work on this, this and this. Um, yeah. That I think Loveridge would be a good one as well because of his debut with yeah. obviously the Frimley set up. Yeah, I mean, the, good, the similarity between you and Loveridge is like he's... He loves to win. Mm. He's quite competitive, and his standards are very, very yeah. high. Yeah. Um, so he'll get very, very frustrated with people in training. But I was like that. Yeah, I yeah, used yeah. to be like that. Year one, I was, used to be head loss, yeah, big yeah. time. But as soon as I got to year three, I was like, get on with it. The coaching, to be honest with you. I was it. Rufus, Rufus was a good coach. Well, oh, wait, you're about me. <laughs> I thought you were trying to pick yourself up, saying it's probably the coaching, do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, it's, no, I think, no, and you actually coaching. Like, yeah, 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 I know what I mean. It, like, honestly, it changes your, your, when you work with younger kids and you're thinking, yeah. why is he not listening to me? Why is he not doing yeah. Your patience level starts to increase and then all of a sudden in your training and your knowledge of the game, you're thinking, mm. I can't just tell him what to do. I can't just tell mm. him what to do. I've got to ask him questions or yeah. give advice, but... Yeah, I think Freddie would be an interesting one. Um, Loveridge, not Jones. Yeah, Loveridge. He, he would be proper busy. You'd be here for about an hour. And you wouldn't say a word. No, and you try and do jokes. Like, yeah, that are awful. Words, like, proper yeah, dad jokes. Probably like try and swear or something. Just oh, so like, edit yeah, oh, busy. Yeah, just just like, annoying. Yeah, probably sitting on football manager or something like that. Raygun would be funny. Raygun would be funny. Yeah, I'd yeah. love to see Raygun. Yeah. But then Rowan just interests me because he's so mysterious. Yeah, he is, yeah. Because he like, he's so nice and so quiet. Well, I'd done a one-to-one -one meeting with him on the camera and it was... Katie was there. This was like the year one. He'd mm. sit down and Katie was like, I love him. Yeah, like, he's just mate. He's so fascinating. Nicest fella. Yeah, he is the nicest fella. 
and he's turned a bit nasty as well on the football pitch. Yeah, I love that. I've noticed that playing he with him. Have that in year one, no, he didn't. Oh no, year one. Got kicked about a bit. And now he's turned now, a bit of a beast. Yeah, he's seen the soldiers, fella. Yeah. <laughs> Big fella. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So um, I'm going to get this all uploaded and ready to go out there. I think it could be quite an interesting. Uh, Watch and listen to some people. Jimbo, it's been a pleasure. Cheers, Thank bro. you very much. <laughs> See you next time. Till out.